Hey everyone, and welcome to Cooking Companion TV. I'm Jenna Edwards, and this is a recipe demo of Eggs en Beaujolais by Paul Bocuse. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and let's get right to it. The first thing I'll note is that the recipe is posted on foodnetwork.com, and it has a disclaimer that this recipe has not been tested for home use, which tells me there are gonna be some nuanced techniques that uh, the Bocuse team glossed over when they wrote it for foodnetwork.com. So with that in mind, we start with a beurre mani, which is equal parts softened butter and all-purpose flour. Here we're doing two tablespoons of each. Rub together between your fingers until it's smooth and then broken into pea-sized pieces. I've also seen this technique used in a bouffe bourguignon recipe. Melt another two tablespoons of butter in a pot over medium heat and add 12 baby onions. These um, are actual baby onions. Uh, and I don't think that the recipe is referring to pearl onions, otherwise they would have specified pearl onions. They do need to be peeled before they're cooked. Now the recipe says to cook to color. So I am cooking on medium heat for a few minutes on each side to get that nice browning. And by the end of this, they also have softened enough that I can cut them in half with my wooden spatula. Now you don't have to, I'm not saying you should. Pour in one entire bottle of Beaujolais and add a bouquet garni, which is one celery stalk, one sprig of thyme, the white part of one leek, and a quarter of a bay leaf, and one crushed clove of garlic. Now, when I buy celery, I pre-slice the entire bunch and freeze it for things like this, so you don't have to slice yours. It can be the entire stalk. Same thing with the leek. It doesn't need to be sliced. Increase the heat to bring this to a boil, and then lower the heat to a simmer for 20 minutes, uncovered. After 20 minutes, remove the onions and the bouquet garni and strain the liquid through a sieve. On another note, I'm saving the onions to make a bouffe bourguignon uh, later on this week. Return the wine to the pot and return it to a simmer over medium low heat and add the eggs one at a time. They poach more cleanly when the loose whites have been strained away, so I'm taking the extra time to do that, although it somehow broke a couple of the yolks in that process. By the way, if you're super into eggs, I now offer a channel membership here on Cooking Companion TV, right here on YouTube, for a monthly subscription fee, where you'll get access to eggs-only content like this. I offer a video course on the best way to cook eggs on another platform, and I'm transitioning that content here on YouTube so I can grow more of a community here. But there's info on that in the description below. Back to the eggs. They will poach for no more than four minutes in the wine. I'm making an entire recipe of the sauce so I can save the extra for later. And I'm poaching only four eggs, which is half a recipe of eggs to eat for now. But if you're doing all eight eggs, you'll need to poach them in two batches of four eggs each. Now the recipe suggests placing the cooked eggs on a plate and cover them with aluminum foil while the other batch cooks. Once the eggs are removed, add the burmani to the sauce and bring it all to a boil and whisk constantly. Season with salt and pepper, of course. Now the burmani is to thicken the sauce. It'll give it some body and it should cook in smoothly, which is why you have to whisk the whole time. Now for your toast, we will rub a piece of raw garlic on the toast, place the egg on top. They are a bit ugly poached in wine and there is an aesthetic case for poaching the eggs in water, but then they don't share the same flavor as the sauce. And for me, the sauce is a bit thick. It's possible I simmered the wine too aggressively and it reduced a tad too much. Regardless, like the flavor was fine. It really didn't blow my mind like I was hoping it would. Once you start reading about eggs in red wine sauces, you'll learn about a couple of dishes and how they vary from region to region in France, including from the city to a country version. I hear in the country versions, they tend to like their sauce much thinner, like soupy, you, you eat it with a spoon. I love poached eggs and cooking with wine. And there is a similar dish called eggs en murette, which makes a sauce similar to bouffe bourguignon with bacon and mushrooms. And it is a little looser than the sauce. It's probably more my speed, but it's also several more steps. So for now, I have extra wine sauce so I can try this all over again. Again, if you want more recipes just about eggs, check out the channel membership by clicking on the join button below. We'll include a lot of techniques for you know the best eggs overall. That's it for this recipe demo of Eggs en Beaujolais from Paul Bocuse. Get the ingredient list below or at cookingcompaniontv.com slash eggs Bocuse because Beaujolais isn't easy to spell. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to this channel for more demos just like this. I'm Jenna Edwards and thanks for watching.